Munchco, 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 Fettuccine Alfredo. Fettuccine Alfredo. So I couldn't get any fettuccine. I've got spaghetti. Just spaghetti Alfredo. Yeah, is that okay? I'm sorry. I will I'm manage. Sorry. I will manage. We'll see what we can do. <laughs> so tell everyone why. Why? What? Why did you ask me for? <laughs> some people. So some people they have like a you know. Oh, it's my favorite meal. Oh, I just want to like try out something new. <laughs> tell everyone why. Why you asked for this specifically? So I asked for this specifically because I watched this show called Are You the One, yeah. and it's like America's answer to um, Love Island. Yeah. So on this show, these two were in the bedroom getting their freak on. Right. So they were. <laughs> the, uh, the girl's outside and she can hear them and she's like, you know, y'all need to be quiet, don't nobody want to hear your fettuccine alfredo? I was like, oh, yeah. I really need to make you this dish now, because <laughs> that's exactly how good... Well, I mean, I, I, I still didn't get it until you mentioned, yeah. The good box. Yeah, the, the, the pasta squishy. I feel in. so, like... Well, I don't know, because so many people like pick stuff like, oh yeah, my grandma made yeah, this thing. Yeah, yeah, like, no, I mean like, I want this yeah. because it sounds like a good book, so. The, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that. The plan was to make this a family show. That's cancelled. Uh, Delete all of that. Yeah, we're now we're now triple X rated. <laughs> so right, so here we go. So uh, Alfredo. So essentially creamy, creamy pasta. Um, you put anything in it. A lot of times we've got chicken. So what we're gonna do? I've got you some chicken breast here. I've got some pancetta, and then we'll mix that all in with some cream, wine, stock, and spinach. All good? All good. All gravy. Okay, let's get into it. You're going to be the stirrer. Yeah? Okay, I can do that. Yeah? You can do that? I can cook. So, you can, yeah. How good are you cooking? I'm actually quite good. Yeah. Um, I, I don't know, this is like, you're like obviously flipping. Oh, so yeah, I'm really good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm good at that. <laughs> so I can't roll in here and be like, oh yeah, like, you know, no. I throw it down. Right. Um, but I'm good. Yeah, yeah. I'm quite good. I'm the best cook in my house, that's for sure. How many people are in your house? Five. Okay, good. I don't know. Oh, no, you no, 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 I make really, really good brownies. Oh, nice. Oh, and I make a really, really good creamy Cajun pasta. So, chicken. Spicy. Yeah. Well, let's get into it. Chicken Alfredo. All right. Cooked by the lovely four eggs. Right, so, that's for you. Are you ready? So, we've got some olive oil here. Trying to whack in. Tiny bit of olive oil. And a lot of butter. Look, we're not here to be healthy. We're here for a good time, not a long time. Okay. Right, so. We're going to wreck to all the places I don't want it to go. So, in goes your. What is that called? Uh, pancetta. Pancetta. Bacon. Italian bacon. Mm. That's what I call it. Mm -hmm. I call it uh, bougie bacon. Bougie bacon. Because it's bacon, but it's like bougie. Kind of like you. Kind of like me, I'm know. very bougie. Very, very bougie. So, you have a show. Yeah. You've got a radio show. Tell us about your radio show. Because, like, I always see a lot of interaction with your show um, on Twitter. You've got a lot of people listening to your show. So, yeah, tell me all about it. So, my show, um, it's every Saturday morning. It's a breakfast show. Even though someone came on my show, they're like, oh, yeah, it's a breakfast show, but there's no breakfast. Okay, eat before you eat. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, um, it's a breakfast show. It's 10 till 12 and it's basically gossipy interviews, just keeping you guys updated on all the stuff going on, really, really good music and yeah, like stuff like that. Um, I have different segments in it, so I've got kind of like, I wouldn't call it an agony aunt because I wouldn't say that I'm like the wisest person on earth. Like, no, like, I'm very never. wise. I'm very wise right. and I give good advice, yeah. but I wouldn't I wouldn't give myself that title of an agony on, but I probably am a lot of people. Okay. <laughs> but um, it's like an agony, so it's like a sex, lifestyle and relationship segment. Yeah. People message me okay. and they ask me questions and I answer them on air. I always put them out on Twitter as well. Yeah. So other like people, my listeners and other people just scroll and do the time like more to give opinions so it's not just me harping on. 
But that's generally it. I don't know what theme, so we've just finished 90s June. Okay. Um, so, right, um, sure, yeah. yeah, so I just turned 24 last week and I'm a 90s happy. Happy birthday! Thank you. Uh, expect my gift in the post. Ah, this is your gift. This is your gift. You're on the Match Club TV. I mean, oh. Tough crowd. Tough crowd. <laughs> yeah, we just finished 90s June, so that's when like I played straight 90s music. I did a lot of giveaways because I feel like it's my birthday, I shouldn't be the only one getting loads of gifts. Yeah. So I gave away some gifts to my listeners um, and I had some really, really good interviews and we just got a lot lined up for July as well in terms of interviews and things like that. Nice. You, you get a lot of, oh, like I say, you have a sex and relationships and fire sign, you get a lot of wild things into your inbox. Yep. What's, the, what's the wildest thing? So it was today. I get a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff related around the bum area. Right, you yeah, yeah. people really want to get into each other's bums. Do you not do that? What do you mean do I like do I eat ass? Yeah. No. Okay. Not in this lifetime. You'll never catch me doing that. I, 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 I wouldn't want to. Not for no. <laughs> <laughs> no, um I I don't. But you know what? I always try to advise people impartially and not put my own the way I feel about life on people. So whenever you, if you do end up messaging me, anybody that's watching, I will advise you impartially. So Ooh. while this thing I had was today, where a girl sure. told me that she had started eating her boyfriend last because he asked her to. Yeah. And while she was in the process of doing that, um, she realized it was unclean. I don't need to spell out what was in I mean, the yeah. booty. Yeah. Um, and she was just like, you know, if he really likes it, he wants her to do it again, what should she do? What should she? What should she do? No, I, I advised her to be very honest with him in terms of, hey babe, like, you know what, this is something I'm cool with doing, but I do think you need to be clean before I can do this. Yeah. Um, and I think that's important for any relationship anyways, which is honesty. And that's something you need to be honest about. If your partner is unhygienic, you need to honestly tell them. If you, if I was to come to you and say, what is your top tip for relationships? What is your number one tip for someone in a relationship that you would give? With all your wisdom. With all my wisdom, my top tip for someone in a relationship would be, you have to, free your mind of all preconceived notions and of the way you think about life. Because the thing people don't get is that as compatible as you can be with someone, you're still two completely different people, yeah. raised in two completely different families, with two completely different ways of thinking. And somehow you have to come together and make it work. And to do that, you have to be open and receptive to seeing things a different way. And you need to remove your mind from the image or the fantasy you might have of what a relationship yeah. might be because okay. someone can be right for you but it may not be the relationship that you have in your dream yeah because yeah that's your dream i suppose so, like stuff like social media um kind of yeah probably doesn't help the thing you know in terms of the things that you see yeah in terms of like your expectation of what people should exactly. do or what people are even doing within that. relationship people think it's so immature for like your partners be upset by stuff they see on social media, but it's also very easy as well. Yeah, for sure. Um, it does it does make things a bit more difficult, but I think that's why it's important to be realistic. Just because you see a girl have fifty million roses sent by her man, you don't know the backstory. He might have cheated on her. I husband. always see that and just feel like I mean, like anyone could buy roses. roses. Like, yeah. like, like, it doesn't like, mean that she has a yeah. perfect relationship. Yeah. And also, um, if your man can't buy you 50 million roses, well, love him for the things he can do for you. Exactly, like eat us. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, exactly. Cheers to that. Cheers to, to men doing it. Oh. Yeah. So, here's some wine <laughs> into their bags. For a little bit of white wine, we're going to boil that off. So, I don't have to keep mixing it. No, you just basically, yeah, you've done a really good job with that. The chicken is evenly cooked. And what we're going to do, cook the wine off for a bit. And then we're going to add in our cream and chicken stock, let that simmer, and then we're ready to go. Right, tea hives, so and this is simmered down nicely. You've seen this without, which without, reduced. You've done a great job on that. I have. It looks great. I'm just going to chop some stuff. Some parsley. I don't like some parsley. Yeah, like salt, babe. Yeah? <laughs> okay. Uh, so, right, here's the pasta. So, 
What we're gonna do is put a small amount of the pasta water oh, yes. in there. We've never done that. And then we're just gonna whack the pasta in. We mix all the pasta in. If you wanna whack in some spinach, like oh, so much panache. So much panache. Mm. Look at that. Right, so that's gonna wilt inside there. Um, one minute, tell the guys where they can find you on social media. On social media, I am everywhere. I'm everywhere. Not parsley, but I'm everywhere. It's at Foren, so F O U R E N S, two underscores. So if you go on my Twitter, the pinned tweet is actually links to how you can tune into the show. But I'm on every Saturday morning from 10 till 12. Um, and yeah, come and tune and wake yourself up to a world of fun. And I mean, if, yeah, if there's anything like this conversation, you'll definitely... <laughs> you will enjoy it, I promise you, that then everything goes on my show. That's, that's great. So... <laughs> <laughs> Looks good. Yeah? Looks good. And yeah, so what we've got in here, we've got, I'll make sure we've got some chicken in there, some spinach. Let's do it. We just like, yeah, let's just, I'm just going to... Stupid. Just gonna slurp it, mate. Yeah. <laughs> 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 really yeah. 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 That's really good. I'm so good. You're really good. I'm you created so a lovely dish. I'm um, really good. Uh, all I have to say is thank you for coming thank on. Thank you for having me. It's been hilarious. Um, hope you guys like it at home. Comment below with, you know, whatever you think we should have done differently. You know, how well is this person right here? <laughs> Maybe you can share your own RC stories. <laughs> um, and yeah, thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to us at Munch Club TV. Twitter, Facebook, Insta, Snapchat, Match Club TV, all of that. Take care. Goodbye. Come watch it.